Okay, let's do a few more examples of um, property of exponent before moving on to the rational exponent. So, still page 55. So, we want to talk about letter G. Then it shows that 3x negative third to the square power and x fourth over x square. Okay. So this time, so always, you distribute this one to the each factor, then this is going to be 3 square, and then x negative third square, and then x fourth over x square. So open the parentheses and simplify the exponent, then become 9 times, this become x negative 6 and x fourth over x square. Now in this case you can apply one property so multiplying property then becomes 9 times x negative 2 over x square. Now it has negative power so you can rewrite this 9 over x square and then the from the top x square here. So the final answer become 9 over x fourth. Okay? So what about h? h is 2x fifth y negative third to the third power 3x negative third y square negative 1. So with the same procedure, so this to all these factors. Don't forget that if number also a factor, okay, if you do it, then this is going to be 2 cubed x fifth third y negative third to the third and 3 negative 1 x negative third to the negative 1 y squared to the negative 1. Expand the parentheses, then 8x15 y negative 9 and then this become 1 over 3 because negative 1 power and then x third y negative 2 power. So I'm gonna make everything negative power on the denominator side then this is going to be x8 x15 and x cubed over 3y 9th y square so the answer become 8 x 18 over 3y 11 that will be the answer for the question. Okay, so last one, J. This is the 8x negative 4y cubed over 125x cubed y negative 2 to the 0 power. Of course, you can expand everything and then make each one zero power. But anyway, even though you do that, what happened here? Each factor will be that factor to the zero power. Negative 4 to the zero. Negative 4 times zero becomes zero. 3 times zero becomes zero. So everything will be zero. So no matter what, this answer becomes always one. Okay?